All right, guys, we are just waiting for our competitors to jump into the lobby, but I do have the setup for you here. We do see a Nui ban coming out the way of scams and a Wolfgang ban from Vehala opting to play on Sunset for their map. Now, scams choosing to pick uh, it looks like Peter, Kaiser, and Rapunzel, whereas Vehalo is looking at playing Cindy, Peter, and Alice here tonight. Uh, scams, however, I do believe one of their members, unfortunately, Altschmerz, not able to make the event just yet. Hopefully, we'll be showing later, but for the time being, Scams, unfortunately, will have to play with a bot on their team as per our rules with substitutions, uh, not allowing substitutions here tonight. Go ahead and take a look on over at the lobby as our players start to shuffle in here. All right, it does look like we have Altschmerz in the lobby, so we will be seeing the full team of Peter, Kaiser, and Rapunzel. Just waiting now the side of Vehala to choose their proper team composition as they had listed originally. They are now on <clears throat> their proper characters and we'll be ready in just a moment able to get this match started right away here reminder this is a best of five set let's go ahead and get on, you know, right on in to the first game of Vehala versus scams here tonight all right we are seeing sunset once again but very different teams here We'll have to see what's able to happen. The first Kaiser we've seen in top eight so far. Opening exchanges, we do see Fighter taking a lot of damage, but him and Ultra is able to find a good combo onto Vehala's members, Mint and Domi. Goku fighting off the Kaiser and able to claim the first objective. Fighter now with a really good Peter ultimate, that extension from getting a kill, able to find the extra hit onto Domi. Goku now getting pushed out of the objective. Objective almost falling, but able to cling on to it. And a really good ultimate coming out of Mint, finding two kills with it. Altschwitz now left alone to defend and try to contest the objective, choosing to take the death instead of uh, fighting on the objective. C CL now looking for an opportunity with this Kaiser ultimate, finds it able to get control of the point, get Dami all the way out, and Goku now dropping to Altschmerz. Fighter X looking to go after that potion, but Domi grabbing it before Fighter can. Fighter now opting for a reset. Mint able to push CL all the way off the objective, and now we're, we're looking at a, a, a flip here. Three points for Vehala, one point for Scams. Fighter X looking for some opportunities here. CL pulling a very late Kaiser ult, very late into his into this stock. Fighter X will have to see if he's able to stay on the point he is. CL able to find the damage onto uh, Domi there, but Goku with a really good Cindy ultimate able to clean up the objective, making it a 1-0 match so far, favoring Vehala. A very fast match there, much different than what we had seen previously in Bra versus VVB, where we saw a lot of games come down to the last few seconds. We're going to have to see if Scams is able to make the adaptation or if Fehala will be able to just lay on so much pressure that they can't, uh, they won't be able to come back from it. We'll have to see what will happen here. Goku appears to be having a restart of his game client, so we'll be just waiting just a moment for him to get back.
So adaptations we're going to have to see here definitely, you know, with Fighter X and Alt Schmerz having a fair, fairly low HP pools, you know, with it being Peter and Rapunzel compared to the health pools of characters like Alice and Cindy on a team together, Kaiser really being the only one able to tank and does have to deal with two AoE ultimates as well as that rare ability from Domi's Alice. We'll have to see what they're able to do to adapt. Alt Shorts maybe needing to find a few more opportunities with those uh, stuns. Interesting to see the Rapunzel pick, though. Fighter X choosing to go Raw V this game. All right, does change to Raw V, and we're going to be seeing probably the Kaiser pick once again. Maybe an option to go for Cindy instead, but we'll have to see. CL opting to change the map to late night, so we will be going to late night. We're gonna have to see if anybody wants character changes. Of course, they are welcome to uh, the side of CCX being able to pick first if they want to change characters. If not, though, we will just be running it back on late night this time. Mint will be switching to Ravi. Perfect. All right, and then in that case, uh, of course, Scams does get the opportunity to pick again if they would like. Does not seem like they will be, though. So we're going to be heading right on into game two of Vehala versus Scams. Let's see how this turns out with the map change as well as two character changes. Seeing Ravi's coming out now instead of the Peters. <laughs> All right, guys, loading into late night here. Lots to see what adaptations are being made. Of course, the character changes are going to be a huge impact on this match. You know, having Ravi ultimates instead of Peter ultimates. While Peter is one of the best characters for Dom by far, Ravi is a very close uh, contender for, for those positions as well. And Fighter really able to show it here. Altschwitz and Fighter both finding kills early with decent health pools still to hold on to this. Altschmerz finding a stun onto Goku as he tries to use that Cindy ultimate, but now very low health. Fighter, though, finding a bit of damage with that ultimate, but not enough. They do get one physical point, and they will be able to uh, contest this now with the Kaiser ultimate, but he does get stunned immediately. Very unfortunate for CL there. Maybe wanting to go for uh, launch pad ults instead of ulting after getting over point by the launch pad to prevent the Alice from being able to land stuns like that on him. Mint very low now. Fighter X looking for opportunities onto Domi and Goku, letting CL deal with Mint. Altschmerz now back. Fighter finding a good ultimate, getting a lot of damage, and Altschmerz able to clean up the kill onto Domi. CL now, though, standing in a corner. Unfortunately, far too late into the game for us to do anything about a lag issue. This match will unfortunately have to count. All right, and Vehala able to take the game 4-1 there. We'll have to see what was going on exactly with CL's game. Seems like there was some sort of problem. It does look like it was a crash or disconnection during that. Unfortunately, that map will that match will count. So the match does count. Uh, Vejala taking that point now 2-0 in the set. Going to be moving into game three shortly here. here if they do need this uh, minor timeout to try and sort out their problems. All right. 
it. The five minute timer will begin now. It will end in exactly five minutes. They will have to they will have to ready up and have the game being played out in five minutes here. All right, guys, I would once again like to take a quick moment here just to give a shout out to our sponsors, of course, for people putting up prizing, including myself. Uh, of course, not going to be giving a shout out to myself, but one of our sponsors is actually our co-host who is in the lobby with me at this moment, Naden from the clan Munchies, with $525 towards the prize pool, an additional $100 from each of elated and phantom thief of vortex and the remaining 325 being put up uh, initially for prize pool with the donations added on making a total of 1050 which is allowing us to have the three or top three payouts I would like to take a moment just to thank everybody who has followed the stream since the beginning of the event yesterday. Like I was saying, I know I wasn't able to get to all of you during the event, but I do appreciate it and I do see the names. I very greatly do appreciate the follows and all of the support that you guys are showing for this event here today. Alright, it does look like we'll be getting back into the match. CL seems to be ready to go. We'll just get everybody readied up and we'll be heading straight on into game three. We'll have to see if the uh, time that they've taken to try to fix their problems will result in a victory here or if Vejala will be able to keep up with the momentum and take game three. guys let's go ahead and take a look at the opening exchange is goku finding that ult charger off the start there using the cindy skill to get to it early and getting his health dropped relatively low for a cindy early on mint a little bit of damage on him as well but alt Schmerz almost dead cl taking huge damage from goku there that level three ability on cindy i do believe he has the one that reduces how much ult charge he needs able to find the kill though is Altschmerz, CL finding a kill onto Domi and now Mint just left waiting for his team to come back. CL now trying to contest that jump pad, not quite sure what was happening over there. Uh, able to find a little bit of damage onto Domi, narrowly avoiding that Alice ultimate but now Mint with the Ravi ultimate finding two kills himself and Goku assisting on the third. Domi resetting his health bar now, leaving Goku and Mint to contest on their own. Will... Uh, will scams be able to find an opportunity here? It looks like they may Maybe not though. Unfortunately a lot of damage on the mint Goku able to hold on to the objective though for his team 
CL now finding some good damage onto Goku, but those double jabs, maybe not enough, should be looking to push people out of the objective. Domi finally dropping to a great pickup from Fighter. Fighter now resetting his health. CL left on the point relatively low. Altschwitz with a really nice Rapunzel ult though, able to find some damage. They do get their third physical point now. The point falling back to Vehala though, now in control. Fighter uh, about half HP with his ultimate ready. Altschwitz almost dead. Domi looking for a good stun, and he does find it onto CL, but Fighter and Ultra are still on the objective. Goku taking a lot of damage now, but able to find the kill with that Cindy ultimate onto two of them. Altschwitz and Fighter both dropping to it, and now CL just getting worked very low HP, probably at, at reset percentage, but not quite going for it just yet. Looking for an opportunity here. Gets a punch onto Mint, but unfortunately is going to get fully healed back buy that Ravi ultimate with the ability. Fighter now clinging to this point for his team. Altschwitz with a slight stall there, just long enough to keep his team relevant in this match. CL now looking to make something happen here. Cannot get stunned by Domi. They need to find the kill onto this Alice very soon. Unfortunately, does not just yet. CL now, though, able to hold down the point. Still another Kaiser ultimate, and unfortunately that will not be enough. The Ravi ultimate does take game three for Vehala, winning the set 3-0 over Scam. Scam's now being dropped down into the loser's bracket with Vehala proceeding to the next round on winner's side.